Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some entitled brides and grooms because there seems to be no shortage. My crazy aunt expected me to bake her wedding cake, make her dress, and do her seating plan. Spoilers, I didn't. What? You mean you're not gonna let people walk all over you? I'm gonna need an answer about the cake making by tonight. I've held plans off waiting for you, but I can't wait any longer. Hello, anybody home? Come on, I've been polite up to now, but you're being a bit rude. <laughs> okay. You think you'd know from your aunt how rough these weddings are. Hi, sorry, I've been with mom getting everything ready for the move. Haha, ha, been a bit stressful. I think there's been a miscommunication. I did say I'd be unable to help with the cake. I really do have absolutely no experience doing that kind of baking. If it's fine with you, I'd love to just come as your guest and perhaps try and bake you something nice after the fact. Question mark, question mark? I didn't say I wanted perfection, lol. It'll just be baking the four sponges, cutting them to size and covering them in icing and maybe a bit of superficial decorating. Everyone is pitching in. You're the only one I'm having problems with so far. Problems, eh? Problems? I'm having problems with people that won't just like bend over backwards for me because it's my wedding. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the last cake I baked was half a year ago and it was from a packet. I feel uncomfortable being in charge of your wedding cake. Is there some other way I can help? Yes, by doing the thing I asked, lol. You, Ray? <laughs> I didn't, but you're here anyway. Fine. I won't go where I'm not wanted. Classic. I'm not asking you to be Gordon Ramsay, lol. I just need a vanilla or carrot cake, something simple. If you're gonna dig your heels in, then I'll need help another way. Oh my God. I like how this bride is completely trusting the very important responsibility of a wedding cake with someone who's uncomfortable baking a wedding cake. Why isn't it possible? What happens if she f***s it up? Of course, let me know what you need. Oh, you're being far nicer than me, damn. The dresses need fixing and I'm not even gonna tell you the prices I got quoted, insulting. I just need some mesh added and then the hem brought up so it doesn't drag. You mean dress altering? I'm sorry, but I really, really wouldn't feel good about doing that. Again, I have absolutely no idea how. I think it's best left for the professionals. Oh, come on. You're being belligerent now. Belligerent. Interesting choice of words. This bride is hella de Lulu. So far gone. Is there anything I can say that you'll actually do? I mean, like, not if it's supposed to be something a professional does. Everyone else has been rushing to help us. The smaller jobs are things like designing and creating reminders for guests and the final seating plan, but as it's small, I'd prefer both done together. Seating plan, I feel like, is your job, no? I feel like this bride just wants everybody to do everything for her and doesn't actually want to take on any of the responsibilities of her own wedding. Spoiler alert, planning a wedding is a lot of work. Planning any event is a lot of work. If you're not prepared to do it, just go to City Hall, baby girl. I honestly can't tell if you're joking or not. If not, then I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue how to make a reminder. I didn't even know that was a thing. If you'd like me to swing by and give my opinion, I'd be happy to. I'd also love to come by and help you set up for the wedding before the guests arrive, if that's something I can do. I, I am on your side, just so you know, but I will say that it does sound like you really just don't want to help her. And that's fine. It's she's, she's not a nice person, clearly, but let's not beat around the bush about it. You don't want to help this person, okay? This, is that a yes? This is why people say you're lazy and you'll have problems later on in life. Uh, I don't think anybody says that, but I'll write it on the inside of my wrist for later to keep me grounded, thanks. Sorry. So passive aggressive, I love it. Oh, they do, lol. Good luck trying to get into a university with that attitude. Good luck staying in your marriage with that attitude. That was mean. You know what? You're mean all the time. I had to put you away because of how mean you are, all right? You've been in a time out for months. Maybe if you say it, people won't be mad. You dug your own grave. You made your bed, now lie in it. It's fine when Sharklot does it, but when I say it, she is an inanimate object, so I can understand. That was normal. I don't even want to think about the kind of family who doesn't help family. There's a special place in hell for people who are this selfish. I'm messaging your mom in a minute. I might be thinking of rearranging your invitation not so sure anymore. Family members like this? <laughs> it's like they've never heard anyone express a boundary before. However, isn't it always funny that when you express a boundary, they're suddenly so like insulted by it? I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? You'll be waiting a few hours. She's in the kitchen making me a four tiered carrot cake. It's only taken her four minutes and a YouTube tutorial. Please don't message me on here again. <laughs> 
Mic drop. Nice response. Take it from me, planning an event is a lot of work. Don't dump the, the responsibilities on your friends or your family. It's not worth it. Just leave it up to the professionals. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hey, girly. Thanks for your RSVP. Brad and I are thrilled to have you for our special day. Can I ask a simple favor? Thanks. I'm excited and happy for you. And of course, what do you need? I need you to make a custom centerpiece for each of the 20 tables. Hi. If each one could be a separate Disney villain, I would die. Oh, and could you also do a cake topper? Wait a second. Are there even 20 Disney villains? I can't, I can't name 20. Like I could name maybe 10. That's great. Also, centerpieces for weddings are really expensive. Like they're really, really expensive because I mean, they're custom and they're not easy to make. OMG, I'm flattered, but wait, the wedding is in a week? That's not enough time for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's next week, but figured they can't be that long to make, right? Uh, there's, uh, wait, uh, ooh, someone didn't plan properly. Actually, each wood carving takes approximately three to five hours of work. Painting takes another hour, depending on detail. I could probably manage a cake topper, but definitely won't have time to make 20 centerpieces. I'm sorry. You're kidding. This is such a short notice. What are we going to do? Hold on. This whole operation was your idea. Am I missing something? You just asked me now a a week before the wedding. How dare you cancel on me on such short notice? You just asked me in this conversation. I didn't cancel. I had no idea you were planning on using my art. God, you clearly don't understand the st <laughs> and the <laughs> that it takes to plan a wedding, do you? Um, no, but I also think you should have asked me way in advance. I don't really understand what this bride expects this person to do. Like she can't magically make 20 centerpieces and a cake topper in less time than it takes. Not with that attitude. Maybe you could try finding stuff in iParty. Go f yourself. Worst coworker ever uninvited. That escalated quickly. The delusion is strong with this one. I'm looking for very edgy photos for my wedding. Should be an all day job with six hours of posed photos with the wedding party. Six hours? Seems like a lot. I'll need a DVD of all the unedited photos in high resolution and you will be compensated $150. <laughs> You're funny. This is a very serious opportunity. I may also be willing to let you do a trash the dress shoot with me next day. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for allowing me to work for free and watch you trash your dress. So two days of work for $150. In response, I sent a short but polite email stating I could not meet the requirements at the quoted rate. Client, look a-hole, I know how the business works. I've been a wedding photographer for 15 years and I make over eight grand a day. Why do you think it's okay to ask someone to do this for $150? You shouldn't have said that. Why did you say that? I can excuse a client who no, there's no excuse, all right? But there is more of an excuse for someone who really just doesn't understand how much it costs and how much time and effort and equipment costs to shoot a wedding. But a photographer should know better. Yeah, you shot yourself in the foot with that one, but Almost had him. Can you give me about price more details? <laughs> you can find pricing on my website. How much is it for all day wedding? $2,000. What consists of all day? 6 a.m. until midnight? 10 hours. You can find all package details at the website I provided along with a tour. So this even goes for our decorators. That is correct. We have a two day package for $2,800 that gets five hours the night before, or you can add $100 per hour extra on the day of. Thank you for the information, but I will look for another one because this is not enough time for us. I will write a review. This is not the place to be recommended for a wedding. I feel like you should write a review only when you've actually like bought the product or service, you know? Excuse me? Thanks. My friend recommended me, but I don't think so. I live out of state. Why would you write a negative review about my business when you haven't even been in it? Because because babe, she wants a cheaper price and she's threatening you. It's really simple. It's beautiful, but the price, $2,800 is a good price, but no time to decorate and live in our moment. It's a good price because it's based on time. So, you know, if you want more time, then you have to pay more. You can add as much time as you want. 100 for each additional hour. Yeah, I understand it's not a fit for you. I just don't understand why you would take the time to review my business poorly to others. No worries. Thank you for checking with us. Have a great weekend. Do not review a product or service unless you have actually bought and paid for that product or service. You don't get to threaten people and leave negative reviews because a price is too much for you. <laughs> if it's out of your price point, it's out of your price point. Good morning. My name is 
gonna blur that out because this is embarrassing. I am the wedding coordinator. I'm reaching out to all confirmed guests to do a final head count and go over some rules and regulations of the wedding day. First of all, are you still attending with a plus one? Rules and regulations. Please arrive 15 to 30 minutes early. Please do not wear white cream or ivory. Please do not wear anything other than a basic bob or ponytail. This is getting weird. Please do not have a face full of makeup. Do not record during the ceremony. Oh, okay. The ceremony. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really judge people on their spelling. I'm sorry. I do. Does anyone else? I really do. Oh, I know. I'm so judgmental. I'm just, I'm not going to take you seriously if you can't spell. Do not check in on Facebook until instructed. <laughs> Jeez. Use the hashtag when posting all pictures. Do not talk to the bride at all. Get out of here! Everyone will toast with Remy. No acceptance. You mean exceptions? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm so judgmental. Lastly, it must come with a gift of seven <laughs> seventy-five dollars or more, or you won't be admitted in. I see how it is. If you have any questions or need clarification, please call me directly. Okay, all right. Hi. Hi there. Um. This is in regards to the email that you sent me about uh, the wedding. You're the wedding coordinator, right? Yeah. Um, are you and the bride batshit crazy? You are. Oh, 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 okay. Makes sense. Cool. Just wanted some clarification. Thank you. No, I won't be attending. Thanks. Blah, 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 blah. I'm selling a 100% silk wedding dress for 75 pounds. I already know at that price point, you're gonna run into some issues. Why don't you just give it away for free? Sorry, you want me to reduce it by 60% and drop it off to yours for free in a 1.5 hour trip? Just checking so I'm clear. Yes, if that's okay. That's insane. I'd be paying to give you the dress. I was being nice by reducing it so much and would have considered dropping it if you were covering expenses. If you want the dress for 30 pounds, it's worth 700 pounds. So that's a ridiculous deal. You can come collect it. I haven't got the money at the moment, hon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm looking for, how is that my problem? Yeah, I can't see it. I can't see it. Sorry, but I can't pay my own money in time to give you a dress basically for free. What do you mean? What do you mean? How do Lulu on a scale of one to 10? How do Lulu was she? Pretty damn do Lulu. <laughs> you know, you, you are so wise. You're so wise. Why did I ever put you away? I'm still mad about that. We'll bring you out more often. Your hair looks great. Don't butter me up. Subscribe.